Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be quickly walking you through four different things that you can try to pair an Alexa remote to your Amazon Fire TV. The first three things that we're going to try are all going to be in relation to your current Alexa remote that isn't working. But if none of these three options work, the last step that we're going to do is pretty much a guarantee, and that's turning your smartphone into an Alexa remote. It's a great backup to have if your current remote isn't working. And again, that will be after we try the first three steps with our Alexa remote. So first and foremost, I don't even include this as a step, but you should check the batteries. If you're out of battery power, obviously your remote isn't gonna work. So you can take the batteries out, flip them around, put them back in, see if that gives you a little extra juice or replace the batteries with some new ones to see if that fixes the problem. But if that doesn't work, we have three pairing options. The first one to try is remove the batteries from the back of your remote then unplug the power source from your Fire TV. And then at this point, put the batteries back into your Amazon Alexa remote and then plug your Fire TV back in. And during its boot up phase, a lot of these remotes will automatically pair. If that doesn't work for you, you get to the home screen and nothing's still working. The next thing that you can try is hold down the home button for around 10 or so seconds. And some of these remotes will have a light that blinks very quickly when you do this. That means that it's going into pair mode. Just keep holding that home button down until you see a message on the screen that says that you've successfully paired. And if that works, then things that should be working at that point. Now, if that step doesn't work for you, if you have a second Alexa remote available to you that's currently working, go over to the settings and then go down and over to where it says controllers and Bluetooth devices. And then click on Amazon Fire TV remotes and then click on add new remote. And at this point, take the Alexa remote that isn't working or isn't paired, hold down the home button again for around 10 or so seconds. It should pop up on the screen. You can select it with your working remote and then it should pair it at that point. So those are the three different ways that you can go about pairing an Alexa remote that isn't currently working or paired to your Fire TV. Now, if none of these options are working for you, the last case scenario is just gonna be setting up your smartphone as an Alexa remote. It's a really great way to have a backup option to you if you can't get your regular remote to work. And that's how we're gonna wrap up this video. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, gonna be showing you how to turn your smartphone into a remote control for your Amazon Fire TV. So to do this, we're gonna launch the Google Play Store. If you're on Android, if you're on an iPhone, you can launch the App Store. So we're gonna launch the Google Play Store here and in the search bar at the top, we're gonna to type in Amazon Fire TV and select that option. Then we're gonna go ahead and click install. And it's not a very big file, just around 22 or so megabytes currently. And once we're done installing, we'll have the option to open up the Amazon Fire TV app right here on the download page. You can also go and look for the icon. It should pop up on one of the main pages of your smartphone, but we're just gonna open it right here from the download page. And then we're going to select a device to connect to, and it's searching for Fire TV devices, and it's gonna ask you to sign in to your Amazon account to help discover your Fire TV or stick. So first we're going to sign in. And once I've signed in, we go ahead and select the particular Fire TV that we want to connect to. And it's gonna pop up with a code on your Fire TV itself. So make sure your television's on and your Fire TV is all hooked in and ready to go. So currently it's showing 3543 for me. And it verified it. So now my Amazon Fire TV application is usable on my television. So I'm currently uh, trying all the different um, gestures here, but it works pretty similarly as you might expect uh, to just your traditional Amazon Alexa remote. And it's a great backup if you run out of batteries, for instance, in one of your Alexa remotes, or maybe it's just broken or unpaired or you can't find it. It's nice having the option to be able to use your phone as a backup as a remote for your Amazon Fire TV. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Consider subscribing for more. I'll see you guys back here for future videos.